Hello and welcome to this review of Davies County Straight Bourbon Whiskey 96 Proof Heritage from 1874 Yes, but this particular one was introduced in 1936 They even had the trademark month and day, April something 1936 Alright, so in the, in, on the market since 1936, Sour Mash Kentucky uh, straight bourbon whiskey um, we did a duo review now I'm doing a solo um, they said they use on the website they said they use two different mash bills a rye and a weeded and they blend them together so it's straight bourbon whiskey but it's a blend of mash bills not a blend of straight bourbon whiskeys Distilled and aged in Kentucky, bottled, bottled for Lux Road Distillers, Bardstown, Kentucky. So who is bottling this for them? We don't know. Okay, anyway, uh, matured in American white oak barrels. All right, so let's check it out. air conditioner. I thought I beat it, but you'll have to excuse the noise. And I apologize for that. Um, it has been very hot, about 100 degrees every day. So we've got a beautiful amber, clear amber appearance. I'll try to go fast. All right. A full nose rich grains corn mostly of course whatever mash bill it is if it's straight bourbon it has to be majority corn right at least 51 percent corn but we get wheat we get rye there could be barley malt in there malted barley so all the major component components of wheat in louisiana there's a rye um a rice whiskey I haven't tried that melic i think it's melic rye uh rice whiskey Yeah, toasted oak barrels. You get that, well, the charred oak barrels, I guess you'd say white oak. Um, so it's a um, bountiful nose. Get that popcorn in there also. Let's go with the taste. I'm going to watch some video reviews for this. Gets pretty good scores on um, distiller. Total wine and more, Google. All right, so the taste. Cheers. Get a little bit of that candy corn. I'm talking loud. To override that blower motor. <laughs> candy corn. Rye spice. Um, I would say softness from the wheat, but I know that's coming from me reading about having a weeded bourbon mash bill blended in to make the final product, so I'm not going to say that. You get the high proof now, 48% alcohol, you can't mess around with this stuff, it's strong. Medium body, high medium body, medium long finish, okay, anything else? Yeah, you get the candy corn, honey, rye spice, I guess a little barley, a little wheat. I'm not really perceiving that. It's mild and mellow. Honestly, it's mild and mellow. And you think 48% alcohol, how can it be mild and mellow? It must be bitey. No, it's smooth. It's very smooth. It's mild. It's mellow. It's easy going. It's hard to believe. Really, it is hard to believe. And the most hard to believe thing is that if you check online at what the selling price is for this product, you would not believe that I bought this at a local store for $14.99. True story though. I saw it in the discount basket for $14.99. I had no 
in, I, I can't say I had any interest in the product, except that I was, you know, going to buy it one day down the road, theoretically. Real cork, too. But when I saw it in the discount basket for $14.99, I didn't have to check online for the, what price it was, because I knew it was definitely at least $10 more than $14.99, but it's really running around $38. Around thirty-eight dollars, so I got it for fourteen ninety-nine. Sounds untrue, but it is true. And, and then my friend David was like, "What?" He went and paid the full price. And I, I guess for now on, he said, "For now on, it doesn't matter what the brand is. If you see the bourbon for this price, just buy it. I'll pay you back. I don't want to hear about you bought it and you didn't know what to do." I said, "Okay." So this is the Aquamarine label. They have a red label, there's a tan label, a gray label, all different labels, you know, different recipes. But this is the standard one. And I'm going to give it a great score. And apologize once again for the air conditioner. I thought I could beat it for a click back on, cycle on, but um, obviously I didn't. There's nothing wrong with this product. What are the downsides of it? There aren't any. I guess it's not perfect. I don't know what a perfect bourbon is. I've never had one, I guess. Maybe I have. Um, but it's delicious to the hilt. I'm going to go 96 out of 100. 9.6 out of 10. A most excellent product. You need to buy it. If you love bourbon, buy it. Try it. You're going to love it. I know I'm loving it. And I'm going to end this review by saying y'all go to Kentucky and take a distillery tour.